Hi, I'm Bob Rogash with www.freehawaii.org, and I'm here to try to to dismay the the issue that Obama could be president. You know, Obama was born in 1961 in the state of Hawaii, or not the state of Hawaii, because if we look right here, it's a matter of sacred trust in 1950, 1946, United Nations, Article 73, signed by the United Nations. And the sacred trust means that the land was occupied by America because the Americans invaded Hawaii and took it. So it didn't meet the standard of Article 73. So it's not a state. It's only the state within the mind of people who want to occupy. If you're an occupier, you, this, is, this isn't for you because you are in an occupied nation. So uh, Senator Obama, this, actually he didn't talk about it, but over here, he, oh, right over here we have the, um, the state saying that, a state from the state college, that there is no person or no group of people saying that the state isn't a state. Well, I just said 1946, the United Nations said that. 1960, the United Nations said that. So it is a state. And then we have uh, Joshua. Joshua should just resign. When you tell a people it doesn't make any difference that this is an American vote and it's not a Hawaiian's butt out of it, you know, that's what, the, that's what the, the racist people did to all the black people in the country, you know? You stay out of it. It's our election, huh? No, it's not. And I really think that Joshua should resign. It's really a shame that he could do such a thing. But right here, I'm going to flip this over. This is Congress in 19, 1998. Right here. It's for the annexing of Hawaii. And then we'll flip it over to the next page and see how many votes it got, huh? It got 15 votes, 10 votes, 40 votes. Then on a roll call vote, it got 10 votes, 16 votes, and 10. So it was never, never occupied. It was never given sanction of the United States government. It's only the civilian military occupation. And the civilian military occupation means that you had the Universal Church of Christ. They're the main people that were involved. They were brought here in 1820 by, uh, by James Monroe to keep track of the heathens, huh? Because they wanted to have that. So they put that in there. And then in 19, 1850, they were, they were gone. But in 1893, they overthrew the government, the queen. And the reason they overthrew the queen is because they didn't, they, she didn't want them to take the water, and she wanted their nation back. And there's no American who ever say, this is this right here, January 16th, 1893, right here. The United States invaded the sovereign nation of Hawaii. President Cleveland said that that was a matter of act of war c committed was, uh, without the authorization of Congress. And he also called it the most heinous type. And the most heinous type is because it was only for money. It wasn't for anything else. It was for money. You know, the great, great greenback is what it's all about, you know. And the sacred trust comes back here. <laughs> Try to get all this in quickly as possible. But this is occupied territories. This is page right here is for the sacred trust. This is what didn't happen here in 1893. It was already voted on. Of course, the Kanaka Moles had already voted on it too. They only had very, very few people who, who wanted it. But it, it's just wrong for people to think that they are living in a nation of America. They are living in an occupied state of the kingdom of wise, sovereign nation of God. And they have done it. No, there's no difference between no difference between here and any other occupation. So, Akaku, thank you very much for having me here. I appreciate it very much. And you know, you guys are great. Thank you.